Hey, hey, how you doing? My name is Chris. Welcome to my shop. Story for you, quick one. Uh, long story short, uh, yesterday on Facebook, I got a message from a woman in living in my area who discovered me via YouTube. And I'm guessing one of my posts on Facebook came across her feed, and that's how she investigated and ended up finding me. Small world. Anyway, she PMs me and says uh, that they're relatively new to the area and that the, the home they're living in, the previous homeowner they, they bought the home from, uh, apparently they, 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 he lost a tree in his yard during a winter storm. And I know when that was, was like two years ago. We had a bad one. Um, and that he had cut it into some fairly large pieces and she contacted me wondering if there's anything I could do with this wood because he didn't want it in her yard anymore. And I said, well, I don't know. Do you know what kind of, what, what kind of tree it was? And she said... Uh, he said something about it being a maple tree. <laughs> Guess where I'm going. I'll be right back. Yeah, not a bad haul. Um, well, let me put my chainsaw away and I can tell you a little bit more about this stuff. Okay. Um, uh, good news, bad news. Good news, um, it is indeed maple. Um, bad news is uh, that tree's been on the ground for a while. Um, obviously, I believe, like at least two years. And so the majority of the wood, and there was a lot of it, um, wasn't usable. Uh, bug infested, had begun to rot. But I did manage to go through that entire pile, and it was a big pile, and uh, grabbed what you can see there. And I grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. And they all range, the differences they range are like, I go from 12 inches in diameter to like, one of them is 26 inches in diameter, 27, excuse me. Um, and that's the one I'm kind of excited about. So let me, uh, <laughs> let me go pick that guy up again, and I'll bring it in here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh. Yeah, this bad boy's heavy. Um, <laughs> see if I can bring the camera in a little closer so you can have a better look. Yeah, there you go. Um, this has potential. Um, I can tell you, as, you, as you can probably see, it has a lot of checking uh, that's went on with this piece as it dried. Um, so I'm going to need to stabilize it with either an epoxy or some other type of a resin before I do anything with it. But this is a fairly significant piece that probably could end up being two pieces um, and that most likely will be its future um, but I think this might have some potential for a really cool looking tabletop we'll have to wait and see I'm gonna let all this wood kind of acclimate in my uh, in my shop here it's been out in the open since the day it was cut down so I'm gonna have to it's gonna be a while before I actually get to do anything with this because I want to make sure all the moisture is out of it and I also need to make sure I've gotten all the bugs out of the wood too but uh, yeah, out of all the wood that I got, this I think is the uh, was the coolest piece, and that probably has table written all over it. Man, <laughs> and that piece is pretty freaking heavy. I don't mind telling you. Um, yeah, uh, the the rest of that wood, um, I think what I'll do is I'll end up uh, I'll end up milling that into bowl blanks uh, for bowls that I can maybe turn later on in the future. Unless I come up with some, you know, if some of that looks nice and spalted, then I may hang on to that um, and cut it up into boards to use as accent pieces for projects in the future. Uh, but I think the majority of that will probably end up being bowl blanks that I'll let acclimate to my shop uh, before I go attempting to turn them on a lathe. Um, but the purpose of this video wasn't to show you that, hey, I got free maple, huh? Uh, <laughs> it was actually because I want to use that one piece uh, for uh, two tables, um, and I have to split it down the middle to get a book match uh, and my options the way I see them are I can basically make a brace that will hold that uh, piece upright so that I can use my chainsaw now I misspoke earlier the actual long the, the biggest circumference of that piece is actually 30 inches um, the bar I have on my chainsaw is only 16 inches I mean I could go from one side and come down from the other and I that is basically what my plan is um, I don't have a Sawyer in my area, because if I did, I would just throw that in the back of my truck, take it over to him and say, would you mind? Um, so 
my plan is to basically uh, split that into two pieces uh, using my chainsaw, but if you have a better idea, I'd be open to hearing it. So please leave what you, uh, what you think might be a good idea uh, down below because I'm willing to investigate anything. Um, the chainsaw, I, I know I can do it, and I know I can do a fairly decent job at it. Um, I'm going to lose a lot because of the curve of the, the chainsaw blade, but the, uh, I know I can get, accomplish it that way, but hey, if you guys have a smarter or an easier way to do it, I'm all about it. So hit me up. Um, I've got to get the rest of that wood prepped, uh, get the bark off of it, get all the dirt off the outside of it, let it sit in my shop, inspect it, make sure that it's, it's not bug infested, because I don't think it is, but I want to check it out. So I'm going to get to that. You guys leave your comments below. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll talk to you later. You guys be good. Get out in your shops, make that first cut, and get something done. See ya.